Leave my thoughts on the table Set my keys by the door All these fortune and fate I don't think they need us no more Rach, I remember the first time that I gave you a ride home from church. I'm thankful that this turned into picking you up to go on dates. And now that I'm looking back on that day, it is hard to believe it was six years ago. We have grown up together and come a long ways to make it to where we are now. I went to your dance competitions, you came to my soccer games. We've gone on mission trips together, you supported me through college, and you started your own business. And now we've joined a new church together. This is definitely not a comprehensive list of all the wonderful things that have happened that have happened to get us here today, but I can't imagine my life without you, as you have become my best friend. I have really enjoyed this journey with you, and I look forward to what the future holds. I love you. Jacob, I can still vividly remember getting the Merry Christmas text from you six years ago that really began our relationship. It's crazy to think about how much we've grown up and how much our lives have and how much our lives have changed since then. People dream of their wedding day their entire lives, and here we are on what's supposed to be one of the best days of our lives. I haven't dreamed about this day nearly as much as I've dreamed about our lives from this day forward, but I'm so excited to find to join together as one in this beautiful covenant of marriage. I thank God for bringing us together when He did, and for all He's done to provide for both of us along the way. I love you. Dearly beloved, we gather today in the presence of God to join this woman and this man in holy marriage. I, Jacob, take you, Rachel. I, Jacob, take you, Rachel. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, in plenty and in want, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in joy and in sorrow, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. Jacob, you may kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Demuth. Rachel has taken care of me. From getting jealous of people who fawned over me in preschool, to standing up to my bullies for me, to offering to meal prep an entire week's worth of food for me, she has never made me feel as if I'm alone. I mean, even today, she helped me do my hair and makeup for her wedding. <laughs> and what I found is that if Rachel cares about something, she will put her all into it. Growing up with Jacob was difficult to say the least. He was stubborn and would just pick fights with me for no reason. Um, and it wasn't until that I became bigger than him and when he picked a fight with me, I could just sit on him. He couldn't do anything. 
That's when Jacob and I start to kind of get along, but still not really. Anytime Jacob was better than me at anything, I hated it. And, <laughs> and I hate to admit it, but I really look up to Jacob. I admired him and I wanted to be like him.